Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and this is a Lens Island. Now, for those of you that haven't played this game, it's essentially like a, just kind of drops you in, and you build your own house, you build up your own property, uh, tend to crops, build up your food supply, and then you can go into dungeons, or I call them dungeons, uh, caves, and fight things. It's actually pretty cool, and I'm assuming there's some loot. I personally never played this game. I just found out about it like maybe a week ago when I was scrolling through Steam, so I added it to the wish list and it just came out. So without further ado, let's get into this because I'm pretty excited about the game. It looks pretty cool so far. Create new world, all right. Jester's world. How about that one? Sound good? Oh. Hmm. I didn't want to control land. Mouse's developer recommended. I don't know, I think I'm going to go WASD route. More used to that. Where is Len from? The Jaro Islands? Zengard City? Acacia, I'm assuming? Plains? Or the Garth Hinderlands? That sounds pretty cool. We're going to go with that. Whatever, I don't care either way. Does he wear shoes? Definitely not, or no? Is there a difference between what happens? I guess no. No, he doesn't. Oh, pretty cool. Brief little uh, build up your character type thing right here going on. Okay. Oh, you gotta go with blue. Blue's my favorite color, so. Um, yeah, I think that sounds good. So I have no idea what how this starts. Okay, here we are. Did we come into this through this wrap? Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so it's pretty basic, it seems like. We got we have a sword. We have an axe, we have a pickaxe. Oh! Oh! So I guess there's what did I just pick up? Glass? Random glass, alright. Basic attack speeds, okay. Cool. What is this that I'm going at right now? What I just threw there? Oh, is that the, uh... Hmm. I think I know what that is. I think that... When you swing, there's that little, uh... Circle that comes up. Whoa. Yeah. So there's that little circle that, when you swing... As you swing and come back... You have to time it just right. It looks like you do like a critical hit or something like that. I don't know. I'm just assuming here. Bridgewater Town. Kind of getting that Among Tree vibes. Watching that tree go down and how it uh, just splits into every individual little log. Okay, so what are we collecting? And I swear I just heard someone talk. Hey, look at this. There we go. Just like a starter home. I don't know that I necessarily want to build right here. Can I chop it down? No, you cannot. Okay, you can't chop it down. Yeah, I'm just... I'm, a, I'm assuming... Ooh, what's this? Is this limestone? I know basics about the game, but... That's about it. There we go. Come on! That is limestone. Sweet. Okay. Ah, uh, tab. All right. See, we're learning as we're going. So here's all our basic resources that we've accumulated so far. So we've got wood, which is good for repairing structures. Okay. Building hinges, joints, decorative items. Make pottery, roofing, glass, glass bottles. Decorations and buildings. Ooh, found all refining clay. How do we refine it? Found deep within caves, light stones, dark essence, salvaged metal. So there's a whole bunch of stuff we can actually get. Limestone, found water's edge used for foundations, crafting, and decoration. Very cool. So I'm assuming we're not limited by where we build. We can just build wherever we please. 
So we're just working on gathering basic supplies right now because once I'm able to build or once I decide to finally build, because we fill up pretty easily. We have, I mean, we're a little over halfway on the limestone that we have. The lumber, we're about three quarters. Once we start to build our house, I just want to get right on into it. I've just been running around, but I also see these little areas where you, you can repair. I don't know what's over there, but if I repair that bridge, there's another bridge I can repair. So it's a connector. One thing I don't see, though, is like a map. How do we... God, you really roll really far when you roll. Um, how do I know like where I'm at? There's got to be a map. If anyone knows that there's a map, please comment down below. Let me know. Because that's my first problem I'm running into. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so we just came around this corner, and I found these. I think these are the same bridges I found earlier where you can repair them. And I am curious what's over here. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to repair these really quick and see what's on the other side here. Just need to get a couple more trees locked down. And hopefully that's going to solve our problem. I wonder... I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. Could be an area where we can build. It's a little bit more secluded. I don't know if we have to worry about like things attacking us at night or whatnot, but if it's a cool area to build our house, that's what we're going to start building. All right, here we go. What a... Huh? Ooh. Look at this. This is pretty cool. The start of a house. Gears and gold. Okay, it was worth it anyways, because we still got gold out of it. Okay, so I've been running around and I came across this. An abandoned fishing shack. Once a perfect residence for an experienced fisher. Hasn't been lived in for many years. With some love and care, this shack could be home to a fishing friend one day. So I'm assuming we can somehow repair this. Not too sure how yet. We're going to find out together. But then someone will be here that we can actually buy stuff off. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build right here. We're going to clear this out. And this is where we're building. I've, cause I want to be close to that. So that's somewhere where we can buy supplies and food and all that. Sign me up. Because so far it's been pretty hard to come by berries on the regular. Alright, cool. Let's begin. Every good house starts with a foundation. Hmm. Let's see what our landscape looks like. I guess we need to just start small. Just start small. I don't need to overdo it. I need to keep telling myself that. Don't need to overdo it. Am I out of wood? My goodness. The wood you need in this game. You need so much. So far, it's been a pretty cool game, though. I've, I have enjoyed it. It's, it's new. That's why I like it so much. I haven't played anything really like it. Just the way I... I just want to figure out how to get into caves, because that's what I want to do. I want to get in there and start exploring that stuff. I think that's going to be the more exciting thing for everybody else, too, is once I can get the caves going. So, what have you guys thought so far? Hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know down below. Comment. If you like the video so far, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos coming out soon like it, please consider subscribing. All right, we're back at the foundation. So, we've got the basics down. we got 46 wood to go. Here's our little garden. How do we want this house to start looking? We'll have the front door. Hmm. Can we have a double door? Can't. Or can this be the path? Hmm. I don't know. Let's do the front door right here for now. Get that started. Okay, so we got the rest of the wood that we need. Now let's start building some stuff. So we're going to have a couple windows right here. Um, hmm. We're just going to build a really basic house because we can... We can change all this soon, but... A little window there, I think that'll look nice. There we go. What else? Get a window going... Over here. Whoop. One more window. Oh, good thing we picked up that glass, I forgot. Come on now, work with me here. Work with me. More walls. Boom. And then we're going to need a way to get out. Well, no, this will just be our backyard, right? Okay, so redo. I know what I did wrong there. I put the wrong bloody corner up. So that's what I meant to do right there. Now we're looking nice. Now we're looking good. 
Basic home. Almost finished here. I wonder if this is, is this like a milestone? Like, do you need to complete this in order to... Oh, I don't need that. Go. You need to complete this in order to unlock other things. That's what I'm curious. I don't know. I don't know. But we're figuring out. Okay, so I know you can't see it, but our basic house is complete. There is an actual roof over here, but because we're inside, even if I leave outside, you can't really see it. But there's our basic house. It's going to be much more awesome throughout time, but I just want to get this done so we can get on with other more exciting things in this game. I don't know that I'll do too much crafting on the videos themselves because I can see that getting a little boring. More exploration. But what I want to do is over here, as I remember, just to build the old chest. Um, what I did build, though, in that house was a workbench, and there was a whole bunch of things like coal related. I can upgrade my weapons and all that stuff, get new items. So that's pretty cool. But this is where I wanted to come to this Bridgewater town. And I want to repair this because I want to know what's on the other side. So, that's the goal. What do I need? 80 and 40. I just need a lot of stone. Looks like I'm gonna have to repair it two times, so... Let me go get at this stone and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gotten back with as much stone that I can possibly hold. Here we go. This portion. And I still need 80, so... I... Oh! Bridge water. Oh, look at this! Ooh, this is pretty cool. So what can we do here? Hello, Traveler. Oh, Mayor Gerald. Hmm. My name is Gerald, and I am the mayor of the corner of the world. You are settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers have come to the island in search of its power. Few have returned. Ooh, interesting. Alrighty. So is this like a little area where we can buy things, or what's going on here? Little houses. Oops. Don't cause a scene right now, goddammit. Okay, so it's actually pretty cool. It's like one big town where you can go and buy a whole... Let's play some blackjack. <laughs> yeah, not with a pirate. Just browsing the goods. You can uh, buy a whole bunch of things. Supplies, it looks like you can buy some property later. But overall, seems like a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little town. It's gonna help out a lot once we actually have things that we can do. We can just buy all the items we need. But we need the money first, and in order to get that money, we need to go do some exploring. Okay, so I've been doing some exploring and I just came across our first cave pretty excited let's get in there so just so you guys know where it is for anyone that's playing where this little uh lumber cottage is which i guess is eventually going to be like a lumberjack friend you just go we'll just call it north you go north of it and you hit this little path right here and there it is sword equipped axe let's get in there what's it all about a torch is something we need i hope this is a place where we can get some coal so this is going to be pretty cool Ooh, see, look at that. That's not a knife. Oh, <gasps> this coal? It sounds different than stone? I don't know. Figure it out right now. Nope, that's stone. That's just stone. Well, we should take advantage of everything while we're here, actually. I can see where a torch is going to come in real handy here. Real fast. Come on. Come on. <gasps> There's some coal. Ooh, use arrows to jump over long distance. Oh, I've already known that. Yep, so if you jump and roll at the same time. Oh, ha! You can do this. I can see where the caves have all the loot. Look at all this coinage. I like it. What was that? Gears, more gears. Whatever that cool thing is. I don't know if I can go over the side, so I don't want to do it. Come on. Damn it. There we go. Over again. So I want to take advantage of as much of this as I can. Get all the coal I can. This looks like coal. It looks a little different. Then the stone, you see these little jagged marks right here. That's going to be the telltale sign for coal, I think. 
takes forever. Oh <gasps> no, that's not coal. That's uh, iron shards. Ooh, that means we can upgrade our weapons here soon. Actually, this is exciting. Oh, do that yet? Oh my gosh, we need. Is that a monster? Hello? Is that gonna be our first encounter? I think it is. Get this iron first, and then we'll go, uh... Oh, here he is. Yes! Is this Dark Essence? Our first Dark Essence. Is this just a portal? Oh, Jesus Christ! There we go. There we go. So it's like a little portal that you gotta get rid of. That's good to know. Get back to getting our iron shards. This is exciting. At first it was a little slow. I was thinking like, hmm. Come on, how do you get into these caves? Because the other cave I tried, uh, excuse me, yeah, the other cave I tried to go to was all blocked off, so I wasn't sure I could get in it. But now that I'm actually here, Damn. Oh, you gotta watch your health. Come on. Keep going. Yes. Now that I'm actually here fighting it and getting the loot, it just became that much more exciting. I want to actually fill up the backpack and get back to the base and start building. More iron. What is this? What was that we just picked up? Ashen fruit. Oh, we just picked up two of those. Why is it, uh... Flame. Didn't register, I guess. More gears. Ooh, more food. There we go. Grapes. Start growing some grapes. That'll be good. God, how big are the caves? I don't want to get too lost in all this. Alright, we gotta go back. We don't have a torch. It's not worth falling and dying, losing all this stuff. There's something. Fall down here. Go. Anyone that's been watching my previous videos, you know. I am a loot fiend. Carry anything and everything. It's all worth something. Okay, so we've been walking through quite a bit of it, and there's just so much that you can go into, but I... Th oh, shit! Here we go, look at this big bastard. Oh, he blocked. Good block, good block. Jesus. Man, I wish... How do you know... I need to get this combat system down. There we go. I really need to get this combat system down. I need a shield or something. Just to be able to block. You wrecked my day. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, there's the portal. Alright, we need to get out of here. I'm not prepared for this yet. Especially with my health being so low. But now we know where this cave is. We got some exploration in. Which is good. Do they keep following? Okay. Maybe they don't. Got some exploration in, which is good. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out and refocus on our health really quick. Gather up some items for health. And I'll see if I can build a... Boom. See if I can't build like a shield at the... What is this? Is this just all my stuff? It is, isn't it? Damage low, speed high. Yeah, we need a better sword. I got a whole bunch of coal as well, so I'll see if I can build up a better sword. Or iron, not coal. We'll do this really quick, and then we're out of here. Need that coal. Alright, let's get out of here. Is it nighttime again? It is nighttime, my goodness. Alright, so it's good that we know where that cave is, which is not too far from our cabin. This is perfect. Okay, so we're just getting back to the cabin. As you can see, there we go. Now I can actually show you the cabin with the roof. 
I know I wasn't able to do that before. Very basic, but I'm gonna get to work on this and try and make it look much nicer. Get some gathering going. But one of the things I wanted to show you is inside here, here's that crafting table. So it looks like we can build... Oh, what's this? Ooh, fireplace. There we go. We need to keep warm. But what's the refinery? Use... Mmm, grind down large minerals into little bits so you can sift out all the sorts of precious metals and gems. That's really cool. And I have a lot of gears, because I uh, salvaged a lot of them from the cave, so we could do that. But the weapons is more what I'm... This right here. The iron shield. Okay, so passive blocking, active blocking, 60%, which is good. 15% armor. I'm liking this. This is what we're going to be building next, and then I'll look at some of these. Look at this battle axe. Oh my gosh. High damage, low speed. I think I might do that. Iron sword. Maybe a sword. I mean, speed's cool, but I'd rather just dish out high amounts of damage. Especially since those monsters don't seem to attack too often. That's what I think I'm going to do. But I think that's going to end it right here. I'm going to get these videos pumping out because this has actually been pretty fun especially since we just discovered that cave i'm gonna get right back in there i'm gonna build a torch and go inside so we can actually f have a fighting chance of finding stuff but if you guys have enjoyed the video please give it a consider giving it a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you thought if you want to see more future videos on this coming out really soon please consider subscribing but i'm gonna get back and get back to that cave and start searching again so i'll see everybody in the next video all right you guys take care